Center, and I'll be talking about that. <clears throat> According to an article by Susan Wong from Street.com, swimming wakes out all of your body's muscles and is good for your heart and lungs. This here is my swimsuit from my senior year of high school. As you can see, it has my um, the mascot logo on the front and the logo on the back. You can't really see it, but. Yeah, um, we are only allowed to wear this in competition for races. We're not allowed to wear it during practices so it wouldn't tear or get destroyed by the end of the season. <clears throat> and because swimming is not particularly a popular sport like football or baseball, um, it is important to understand and know how beneficial it is just like any other sport. Being a swimmer myself, I know from first-hand experience how the swimming culture is, and I would like to share the lifestyle with you. Having knowledge of this culture, you will have a better understanding of how it can fit me as a person. First, I will describe the culture and the values, as well as why is this so important to me as a person. The, and the swimming culture is a specific uniform and life lessons that you can live by daily. <clears throat> There's a specific appear of apparel for swimming for men there's speedos and then for women there's a one piece suit um you can't wear a two piece because it's not really professional and you will just like like flop out of everything so <laughs> it's like it's like more professional to wear one piece for girls um there's really differences between the two because one is really cheaper than the other for speedos they're like they can range from like 40 dollars but for girls they're like 60 to 80 so maybe like a hundred depending on the style or brand or or the type of material it is and um, as you can see the swimsuit meets the criteria it's, it's pretty thick material <clears throat> but as because it, it covers my core but it's made to be with as little material as possible as can be because the less material the better it is for a swimmer to move their arms whatever so that way they can they can move faster and in a race a tenth a tenth of a second can mean a lot it can either it can either make you win or make you lose to it just from the swimsuit itself so um the most important value i've learned is strength both physically and emotionally physically you need to try to perfect every single stroke in swimming because there's different strokes and different body movement in, in each type of stroke and emotionally, you have to believe in yourself and believe that you you're capable of <clears throat> you're capable of getting to that point where you want to be, or or just perfecting a certain time you want to get to, or just making your time better. <clears throat> I also learned commitment because in high school our practices were before and I, and after school. So at five thirty in the morning, I would practice for about two hours and then go to school. And then practice again after school for another two hours. So that was that was a big commitment doing that five days a week for months at a time. And no matter if it was raining or sunshine, my coach wouldn't cancel practice at all. So we would just have to deal with it. But we would allow ten absences each season. But that did not stop me from going to every single practice because I felt that I needed to go to every practice to improve whatever I needed to, to improve on. And that showed me the value of dedication because I pushed myself and my body to limits of where I think I needed to be or where I could be. And by, by the end of the season, that dedication showed a lot in my performance. <clears throat> um, although swimming is mostly an individual sport, it is considered a team sport as well because every single person's race or time can rack up points for your team depending on what place you get and what time you get so at the end of the race whoever whichever school has the least amount of points wins um, yeah and also I had to discipline myself because for dieting and because before a race you're not supposed to eat a big meal or or eat something with carbs so I had to limit myself <coughs> as much as I love junk food to I had to limit my diet and then in addition to these values it, impact, it impacted my life tremendously from a toddler to my teenage years to now it has always been a part of me 
for the last 17 years, um, I've been swimming, and swimming is basically the only sport I've been passionate about, and it's helped me inside <coughs> the water and outside of the water. And I have physical traits of it because I have a lot of timelines over the years that will not go away no matter how hard I try to get them off. <coughs> they will always stay with me forever, and I think that's just a signature signature way of who I am. The values outside my daily life, um, I'm committed to school, to coming to class, to doing my homework, to studying, to strength. All those sleepless nights, I am doing those homeworks and studying. And for teamwork, it helped me a little bit get out of my comfort zone of meeting new people. <coughs> and yeah, now that I have described the culture, you, you now know a better understanding of how it is to me as a person. Swimming is not just a sport.